Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? Once again, everybody Nev from Nest Tech, but today I want to talk a little bit about war driving. It's uh, changed, it's definitely changed quite a bit. Now, when wireless internet was a new thing, when it was in its infancy, especially out here in the villages and whatnot, it was a really cool thing, the idea that you could get wireless information to your uh, laptop. Originally, it wasn't all easy, it wasn't all great. It's still not easy and it's not all great, but it's a lot easier and greater than it was. I used to walk around the town with a PSP to figure out who had what kind of encryption and who had what kind of network. What was I going to do if I ever found something I could break into or uh, if I could uh, get free Wi-Fi? Probably not a whole lot of anything, but the idea was so cool. The, the, the idea of wireless networks and their emergence. So I uh, started using Wi-Fi faux fum. Uh, I'm sure a lot of people who have been in, on the hacker scene know exactly what that is. The problem was nobody ever updated it, nobody ever updated the information within it. I had found out that one of my friends was on uh, the database because they had free and open internet without a password, and this is because they didn't want to put a password on it. And uh, one time I scanned her network, one time I scanned her network and I could definitely see that she had things attached that weren't hers. Anyways, I digress. War driving. A lot of time has changed. A lot of time has gone by. Is it still viable? I took a look. And it is. Wiggle.net is a great place for war driving information. Once again, what are you going to do when you find these open access points? Nobody really knows. Nobody really knows. But that's what's going on, ladies and gentlemen. I want to take a look now and uh, see what we can do with Wiggle.net. Join me, if you will. It's alive and well at Wiggle.net. This is information from various people, millions of people, well, maybe not millions, maybe just thousands of people with Wiggle.net app on their phone as they're going around on adventures. And you can see every one of these little purple dots is uh, an access point. Not necessarily an open access point, but an access point. And if we click on it, uh, I guess we got to get real freaking close before we can click on it. Barn, an access point called Barn. Vicky Encore, just one little dot. Just one little dot in a uh, collection of many. So you can come over here and filter by a possible free net and hit filter. And it'll show you all of the free networks in your area. Well, in any area, I guess. What do we got here? U.S. Airways free Wi-Fi in Fergus, Ontario. Okay, that's a thing. And then what's over nya? A&W free Wi-Fi. No, oh, there should be more than that. But yeah, so here on the filter, I'll zoom out again and we'll take a look at the, the free internet. And we'll see, there's definitely not as much of it. Come on. There we go. Yeah, the filter is not the best, but it's better than nothing. Anyways, next up, let's take a look at the app. Here's the Wiggle Wi-Fi app. Now, before you start word driving, before you walk around, one thing I definitely recommend is that you sign on and then upload your information because what i did is uh i put this thing up but two days ago and i had a little walk around and now it says all of the networks are currently exactly where i am right now so what i did is i took a walk down here down here over and up and originally when i got it all of these all of these things stayed where they were supposed to but then i waited a day or two and I didn't upload them, and now it's basically saying they're all next to me. Which they're not. But before before everything went wrong, I had points all over the map saying where everything was. And if I had a username, I could sign in and upload these onto the web page. I'm sure my uh, neighbors would prefer I didn't. I didn't. I wasn't going to. Um, but it's un but maybe I should have because then I'd have <laughs> I might have the frickin' information on here anyways. Yeah, so you come over here, you go to network list, it shows you everything. Shows you everything in your area. 
And then if you have a login, you can upload to wiggle.net. So war driving mm -hmm. is still alive and well these days. It's just not... It's not as nice as I'd like it to be. Because this information doesn't make sense anymore. Anyways, that's it for me, folks. Net from Nev's Tech Bits. Like and subscribe if you like this stuff. Always appreciate it. And uh, have a good one. Take care of each other, folks. What's going on?